Shropshire Saracenias, Wednesday, the 31st of May, 2023. Three days to the open day. As you can see, plants are looking pretty good in colour because of the recent sunny weather. I'm very hopeful that the uh, plants even be more coloured. There's three, still three more days of sunshine to come, but uh, I couldn't get it better at the moment. So I'm not going to go over the plants. I'm just going to go through a very quick whiz through the flower bench. You can see the all reds are going red. Finally, we've got a non-sunny day. And it just brings out the colours a little bit better. As I go down the flowers, you can see the reds are properly red. Even the solid maroon throat is getting that way. There's still the whole of June and July to go, but right now, I'm very pleased with the way the colours are going on these plants. There's almost too many flowers here, but there's uh, the last count is about 350. Sometimes this is a striking one. F234. The moments are really outstanding. Going on to the Lucos. Black and wall is doing okay. Once Hurricane Creek Whites are looking good. You know, one three one is uh, getting the deep red uh, before it goes into the fluorescent pink mode. The colours are probably right up there with being the tallest uh, pictures of Luco Flanders this year. And then scanning across all the Flanders. The last is a Pretty good this year, got the same pleased as those and the black tubes. Now we're walking back. I have really run out of space. I'm going to put sales fly traps in the floor of the main greenhouse. Apparently, there is a shortage of um, Venus fly traps because of Brexit problems bringing plants in. Look at that. Orange copper top. So, I'm going to coming out of the fly traps and having to produce more for myself and making cuttings because uh, I supply one or two local garden centres uh, with, uh, with fly traps. Beyond next week I have got the garden of world life to go on to, to look at the Leo Wilkinson and Adrian Slack plants. It really does make a difference. <laughs> Not so much sunny weather. You can see the colours a little bit better with uh, using a phone camera. A few of my own crosses. Mary Eye is my favourite at the moment. This one I really love. So uh, this is really creme de la creme of the large. Looks well. through the side the purpose of getting go, uh, going and the last one to develop will be minus is the M18 standing across I want to show you this zone folks so these are all my own crosses and this particular one you know, I've crossed L131 with another pink plant and I think you'll agree I go very slowly through this bunch these are only juveniles, they're only about 20 centimetres to 30 centimetres high. There's some nice ones developing. But I think like everybody else, I think everybody who's making their own hybrids are finding this particular part of the hobby particularly pleasurable. It's really nice making your own stuff. And when you get something that looks really good and different, you kind of get excited about it. But it also gives you the chance to trade, but this is still my own stuff at the moment. It really is a contender. I really like this one at the back. And moving on through the hybrid collection, I'll just put wide scan road. It's always better to see it in real life, so please come on down to the open day. And you can see these plants for yourselves. There's something like now in this greenhouse alone, 2,000 different Saracenia. 
and it is absolutely jammed to the rafters. It's going to be difficult to convince my wife to have any more greenhouse space, but I think it's going to be a question of refinement when you actually, uh, you know, planning on putting more plants and it has to go. Sadly, so there will be a reduction in multiples, I can, I'm pretty sure. And those seedlings growing up, you know, it's not what you do with them all. It's always the difficult uh, kind of condition, uh, question you have to ask it oneself. You know, black shears is really plain black. It's really nice to see each evening. around in front of the Lucos again and I'm going to pause it there. Just what we wanted to show you this one. This is really outstanding. And now with the light on the back of the walk down slowly you get an idea what you'll be looking at when you come. For those of you who are actually uh, joining in on the electric car revolution, I will be offering two charging places so people can charge their cars on Saturday if, you, if you're coming with that form of transport, as it's going to be sunny. Just having a look on this one, there are slabs. seedlings again. This one is um, a touring girl by near time self. Don't get enough of looking at these seedlings. This is a grouping, they're all different and this is really one of the fun things. Now they're in the sales house, so this is what I've got on offer, so papiri papiri forms. visit it by now but this is from my own collection what's for sale this, this is all the flower forms available red tubes uh, jelly eyes or narses there's a few of the uh, black vein Luco a better view of that that one so you can see it the yellow veins go deep purple and then we have all the hybrids, including some Japanese, Aaron Sykes, some Milan Crosses, and then some very nice all red Warner clones. For those of you who like fly traps, there's plenty of them. Scanning back. Can't have, uh, not miss all the uh, tissue culture plants. These are really ready for the uh, flower shows that's coming up. Very blessed to get these in. But they're, they're looking very colourful, ready for the uh, for the flower shows, which the first one starts in a little over two weeks time tomorrow. And on top here are some more of the specialist named fly traps available for Saturday. And now, after this pause, you'll be in the flytrap house. So now we're in the Venus flytrap house. I just want to show this plant, Big Bertha, which I put on Facebook not so long ago, but I just want to show you how big it is when I put my hand in here. It's absolutely huge. The pots are six inches square, and the traps are well, uh, well that one there is over two inches for sure, just behind here, and have a look. But it's absolutely monster. But anyway, moving on, the rest of the fly traps. So they're just get, uh, getting going, but some of the giant forms are 
kicking off, this is one of the other large crowns. This is Switzerland giant. And also this is um, uh, MK1979 cross with uh, Southwest giant. But they're all looking good. I do like the vertical forms and I do have a thing for the yellow centered traps. As well, I had one years ago, which was a really perfect form, but this is red line CK, which develops a little red, reddish line underneath the cilia later in summer. And there's Darwin's and Southwest Giants. These are just like traditional giants. And then moving across, there's uh, an additional Saracenia seedling uh, growing. This is one of the crosses I've got my eye on at the moment. Maybe it doesn't pick up so well, but it's a more, quite a vivid pink. I'll just get it in focus. And then moving on the rest of the setup, as I was mentioning, fly traps are in sort of short supply in the UK, or likely to be. So I had to move some of the Saracenia seedlings into the coal frames and use this as a fly trap cutting be bench. So very easy to do rhizome cuttings and they've started generating new growth already. I'm pulling up some uh, plants and then some flowers. You can do stem cuttings on the flower stems and they will generate. And you also, uh, I can't ignore my love for sun juice. I like the capensis forms because they grow nice uh, for me and easy to keep. And also Drosera bionata forms. So uh, bionata, dicosma, and then more fly traps. And finally, the rest of the fly traps. So I've just repotted some of these into a mix which is basically half sphagnum, half peat. At the moment, it seems to keep the compost lasting longer and they're just beginning to come back on some of them anyway hope to see a lot of you on saturday and uh, thank you very much